Hi everyone, I'm Molly the Mixologist here from Total Wine again to keep going over some basics. Now in the previous video here, we started with uh, using our jigger. So we have an old fashioned built and I wanna talk about how to shake. Now, the interesting thing about shaking is that you might think it's not very exciting. It's actually very scientific. I was a philosophy major, so I'm not an expert on the actual science of it, but the goal is to create the perfect balance between dilution and chilling. Let's talk about dilution for a second. You might be like, I don't want my drink to be diluted. The thing about adding water to a cocktail is that it's one of the most important binding ingredients. It's kind of like when you're making a carbonara and you need to add a spoonful of the pasta water to bind everything together. That's what the water in your cocktail when you shake it or stir it is going to do. So it's a really important step that you can't skip. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a drink that's too strong, too sweet, too sour, and just overall out of balance. The other key part, as I mentioned, is chilling. So you want to find the best uh, timing to get your drink very well chilled without over diluting it. One of the most important aspects of that is ice. So you can find really beautiful square ice cubes like this. Um, you can find an ice tray at Total Wine or wherever you like to shop for cocktail tools online. Uh, that is going to make a huge difference because cheaper ice or ice that comes from your freezer is going to fall apart really quickly and that's going to end up with an over diluted and not cold enough cocktail. So a very nice ice cube makes a very big difference. Now, the next step that we're going to do and as we get started here is to add ice to our shaker. We're going to fill it all the way to the top. So go ahead and get in there. And the reason we're doing that is because we want it to have as little room to shake back and forth. Otherwise, it's gonna end up, again, breaking, the ice is gonna break apart too quickly and it's gonna over dilute it without getting cold enough. Now we have our shaker tin ready to go. We've got our tin full of ice. We're going to seal it. Make sure you give it a good uh, hard smack, flip it. And then what you wanna do is flip the ice. So you wanna be kind of letting it circulate through the tin. That's going to mix it, chill it, and not break the ice apart too fast, as opposed to a bullet shake. You might see that at a bar, that means they're probably a little too busy and trying to catch up, and they're skipping the chilling step and getting too far into dilution. It's gonna end up with a not as balanced drink. So, get a nice flip going. You can see how I kind of hold this hand still, almost, and this one is doing the, a flip motion. Then as you start to hear the ice chip, that's when you're at the right point and you're ready to uh, go ahead and break your tins and strain your cocktail. So give it a nice smack at the base there. And I like to stack it like that. Just to make sure it's perfect, you can strain a little bit into your glass and give it a taste. So I'm gonna do that. Excellent, nice temperature, nice and diluted. We'll strain it the rest of the way and then we will add ice afterwards. You don't add ice before, because otherwise it's just sitting in your glass getting watered down. So now we can go ahead and add our ice to this, and it is ready to drink. Cheers. <laughs>